Hello and welcome to today's Scarlet Scoop. I'm your host, Amanda Vaughn. Football has been a key part of Ohio State culture for the past 126 years, and some players in particular have left their mark on campus long after they changed out of their scarlet and gray uniforms. Former Buckeye running back Eddie George opened the Eddie George's Grill 27 10 years ago at its current Chittenden and High Street location. But now the restaurant is relocating to Grandview Yard. They are set to fill the space vacated by Buckeye Hall of Fame Grill, and while an opening date has not been officially announced, the goal is for late spring. However, current fans of the eatery will not have to go without the venue for long. The High Street location won't close until construction on the Grandview Yard space is complete. For more information, check out thelantern.com and click on campus. As you might know, Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which means that the university is closed. However, the Office of Student Life's cohort, Pay It Forward, offers the opportunity for students to spend the day giving back. Registration begins at 7.45 a.m. and volunteers are placed to a service site on a first-come, first-served basis. Before the service begins, volunteers will receive breakfast and a t-shirt and will attend an opening ceremony. Service ends at 1.30 p.m. and volunteers will then participate in reflection activities. Jake Cohen, the advisor of Pay It Forward, told Lantern TV, It's a really great day. It's a great way to get involved. The spirit behind this event is for the Ohio State community to come together and honor Dr. King's legacy through service. The Office of Student Life and the Office of Diversity and Inclusion have teamed up to launch a new website called Where Women Go. The website went live last semester to provide a comprehensive list of resources on campus for women. We caught up with Student Life spokesperson Dave Isaacs to learn a little bit more about the new website. Well, it's divided in several different categories. There's academic resources, there's health resources, there's a number of different categories. And then when you go to that page on the site, you have a whole list of things that you can choose from. Because the site is so new, we're looking to grow it and add more resources. We put out a call all over campus to get resources. People submit them. We've gotten a number of them, but we're still looking for more. There are a lot of things going on on this campus. And so you can email wherewomengo at osu.edu to maybe suggest something that we ought to add. Fisher College of Business recently raised $100 million towards their $125 million goal. Their fundraising efforts are a part of the But for Ohio State campaign, which looks to those who believe in Ohio State students, faculty, and staff and want to invest in their potential. A spokesperson for Fisher told Lantern TV, this important milestone in the university's campaign is a testament to the dedication and support of the entire Fisher community, our students, alumni, faculty, staff, and friends. Their incredible generosity continues to positively impact all of the ways Fisher College of Business is preparing the next generation of leaders and advancing the practice of business. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another new show. And to stay updated on all of the latest news, check The Lantern and Lantern TV throughout the week. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.